Hello and welcome back to Greedfall. Here we are in the exploratory zone, which is what I'm calling it right now. And uh, we have some bandits that we are going to be facing very, 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 very shortly. And we're going to see what we can do. So let's just try and take them out. I've got a huge amount of fury generation, so that's really helping me very, very nicely here. And I can, of course, do some wonderful parries. Ah, I did get attacked a little bit there, but that's okay. Kurt is with me right here, so he's helping me very nicely. And there it is. Nice kill right there. Now, Siora is really useful in my opinion. I feel like she's one of the most useful companions we've had so far. Although we've only had Kurt mostly and Vasco. Vasco, well, we didn't really use him in combat that much, if at all. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be attempting to do the quests where we have to go from the one village chief and speak to the other village chief and see whether they are interested in an alliance because of course we can't do any more of Kurt's quest and we might very well be heading on to the main quest as well depending on how far away this is or indeed oh here we go oh never mind or how dangerous this uh, this area is as well anyway we are going to be communicating Ulan's offer in Hikmet and we also have another story mission here main story mission where we have to meet the meet the bridge alliance governor all right, this is going to take us nine hours and 25 minutes. What a serious journey this is, but it's okay. It's absolutely fine. We have a good deal of time, I suppose, because we don't really need to deal with those merchants anymore. Use this break in your journey to manage your characters. Ah, well, I don't need to do that. Thank you very much. Really don't need to do that. So let's continue onward. And it seems like he is, wow, he is literally 500 meters away. That is insane. Well, there are some enemies over here that we might want to fight. So let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to try and lock on if I can. And let's... Oh, yeah. This is this is problematic. Let's do some shooting. Try and remove the armor from the enemy. There we go. The armor is now removed. And I should be able to do a fury attack. Nice. Good fury attack right there. And there we go. Eliminated. Now, we do have another one to deal with. So uh, this one is a little bit easier. So we don't need to remove as much of its armor, which is great. Going to be mostly using my firearm to remove armor for the most part. That seems like it's most useful uh, ability to do so. Of course, what I have done is I did go to a crafting bench and I took a look and uh, seen basically what I could do to upgrade my armor to finally get science. Unfortunately, I did not have a ruby. Now, amazingly enough, I have just seen that I just picked one up. So I believe I will be able to then enter a crafting bench menu and finally do something about that. So that's going to be really, really nice. Oh, wow. This is a huge zone. Wow. I got to say, they've done a fantastic job on this game. They really have. Okay. So yeah, this is a massive zone. I'm going to have to be, well, a little bit more mindful of where I am running to because I need to run in the appropriate direction. I really do. To make sure that I get there in time. Oh, hello. What's your destination, my lord? Just into town. I am an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, my lord. Oh, I thought I'd, I'd have to speak to him or something like that, but no, okay. Yeah, I, I thought we could uh, choose like a an option or something like that, but yeah, it seems like uh, where is the governor, by the way? Isn't that him? No, that's the that's the other governor. Uh, that's the other governor. Okay, so let's take a look and actually see what's going on here. So, uh, the bridge alliance. Can I not? I can't select that. That's kind of... Change the follow-up? Ah, there we go. Okay, so change the follow-up is the thing that you need to press for that. All right, so now we can see exactly where we need to go. It seems like he is in the same place. That's actually kind of interesting. Okay, so let's make our way through this outpost. We have discovered it. Yes. I actually wonder whether we're going to be getting any quests here as well. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. It really depends. All right, so otherwise, what else do we want to do here? Well, it doesn't seem like much. They don't seem to have a crafting bench or anything like that, so I will not be able to get science. It wouldn't really make that much difference anyway, because I need two science to be able to create ammo. So that's a pretty big thing. But thankfully, we have set up a camp 
in the region of Hikmet, as you can see right there. So we can now travel in between camps anytime we want to, which is really fantastic. Wow, this, what? This is a, wow, this is an insane thing. I actually thought that we were not going to encounter a town or anything like this in this region, but apparently I was sorely mistaken, and indeed, it's oh, massive. Your names, titles, and business at hand. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. I will be heading in then. And this is the city of Hikmet. What a crazy big place it is. This is insane. Look at this. Yeah, so I suppose this is where the Bridge Alliance has set up shop in the new land. And we will be attempting to find the... Go ah, there's the governor's residence. You'd better go and meet this governor without me. We are at war. I'm not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. The little one's not wrong. You came to flatter him. The sailor is less likely to cause an incident. But you are the diplomat. Ah, okay. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so they're giving me the option of letting Siora just relax. And as a result, not causing a scene, not causing a diplomatic incident, you know, any of those things. So it would probably be a good idea to swap her out, even though I really don't want to do that. It's probably going to be for the best. So let's see if I can... I don't really want to sleep right now. Can I change... How do I change... Ah, there we go. Compose your team. All right. So I'm going to take away Siora and we will add Vasco to the team and we'll confirm the team. There we go. All right. So sorry, Siora. Uh, well, it was her own suggestion, really, kind of. And I suppose it is going to make much more sense to do it this way because we really don't want to cause a diplomatic incident, especially considering we probably want information from him in some way or another, and we probably want to work with him as well. So let's see what he has to say. And, uh, wow, this is very similar, isn't it? Oh, yes, we've, uh, we've seen this, this layout before. I'm very pleased about that, actually, because that makes it a lot easier to navigate. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city, but we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. 
the merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved, you would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief, from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Very nice. Okay, we actually had a rather wonderful resolution there. I'm very surprised. And uh, yeah, I must apologize. I seem to have gotten my wires a little bit crossed. I thought that the Ulan guy was sending us to some other random village. I did not know that we were, sp were supposed to speak to the Bridge Alliance guy for him. So it seems like I misunderstood the quest entirely, which was actually kind of amazing that I even found, you know, what's going on with the guy. But anyway, great. We were able to, you know, fix the situation, I suppose. And now we get to take a look at our journal. So let's have a look. So all we need to do now is meet the Teleme governor and ask about the Malachor, reach the village. Okay, peculiar alliance. Okay, so we're going to do this. This is the thing that we should do. So let's display that on the map. So where where is that? That's actually very close by to us. That's really, really good. Okay, so give permission to the itinerant merchant. That's what we got to do first. Ah, now it seems like we have... Oh, wait a minute. We have another quest right here. Let's speak to... Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Okay, uh, so question the surviving merchant. Where, Where is that? Where is he? Is he down there? Yes, he is down there. All right, let's go and speak to him and see what's going on. Because apparently they're having some major difficulties. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. 
Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. Ooh, right. Some more detective work is upon us. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Very much so. So let's have a look and see exactly where that is. Oh, that's actually pretty close by. I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's charge on. Let's just charge on. Oh, okay. What do we got going on here? We got something going on. Okay, so hopefully this is not going to end up in a fight. Please help me. Just keep walking, Renaixi. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. If I were you, I would leave at once. A squad of guards are approaching. Not Freddy. Let's leave. We are not ready for an encounter yet. But we will get you for this, merchant. Adloreda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the Governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, fantastic. So now all we need to do is inf inform the governor... Uh, no, actually, inform the uh, leader of the village of his arrival. Right, so let's take a look at the... Okay, so this is the location of the attack where the caravan was attacked. So, hmm, I'm a bit worried about this, but hopefully... Nothing aggressive is around here. I'm not exactly confident in my fighting skills. At least are. against animals. But against people, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, there's a lot of loot around here too. I like this. Okay, so we got bodies. Whoa, we got a, yeah, a whole bunch of quest objective markers as well. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so what's this? The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades, the kind of weapons that islanders use. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Right, okay, so here's the thing. I, I think that I've got a bit of a theory on this particular quest. Now this quest, it's obvious that they are going to be transporting something that is either sacred to the native people, so they're taking something away from the land that the natives do not want them to take. And maybe they've told them that it is indeed sacred, but they're just ignoring it. That is one theory. Another theory is that it could be damaging to the environment, whatever it may be, and as a result it is killing 
the natives food source or threatening their lives or something along those lines or uh, I, I can't really think of why else they would go to such trouble to attack the cargo itself rather than killing the actual people. Anyway, this looks like an enemy that we probably want to fight. Or do we? <laughs> uh, this is bad. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Yes. This is indeed bad. And certainly something you probably don't want to fight this time. Yes. Th th that was... Very interesting. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? Ah, <laughs> uh, right. I'm perfectly happy with this. I would have liked to have killed the enemy for the experience, of course. But apparently, dying and uh, loading the last save, especially when you're right there, makes it so that that thing does not respawn. So, I guess lucky me. Lucky me. All right, so let's see what we can do here about this thing. Okay, we're going to have to do some damage, try and remove its armor. There we go. The armor is now removed, and let's see if we can do some damage to it. Got to be a bit careful with these things because they can attack from all kinds of different directions. I feel like it's very difficult. Wow, yeah. It is very, in my opinion, it's very difficult to fight these things. Maybe that's just me, but I find it very difficult to find them. I fight them, even. Okay, let... Oh, no! I'm dead. I was just about to drink a potion. Ah, oh, yeah. Fighting animals is so difficult in this game. You really got to try it. You really do have to try it. So try and, try and pick up the game at some point. Even if you have to pick it up on a sale or something like that. Just in case. Maybe, maybe you know, you might not like it or whatever the case. But you've really got to try fighting animals to truly understand that it is very, very challenging to do that. And in comparison to fighting animals, you know, human enemies that can have their, you know, their, their attacks telegraphed and things like that. So, anyway, I'm just going to try and do some damage. Let's just try and put tra put a trap down. Because this thing's going to charge at me, no doubt. There we go. Oh, wow. It actually charged right through the trap, which is kind of crazy. Let's see if we can do some more damage. And a nice fury attack to finish it off. So, this is a little bit easier this time around. I am attempting to dodge, as you can see. And we are also having that nice roll ability as well which I like. Okay, oh, dodge it, dodge it, there we go. Let's try and remove some of its armor a little bit more, maybe. There we go. It got stunned. Okay, we, oh, Kurt is having some problems. Vasco is also having some problems, but hopefully I will be able to prevail and as a result help our forces to get through the battle. Where, where is Kurt? Where, oh, there he is, hello. Hello, Kurt. Hopefully you're going to get up in a second. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to have to shoot at this a little bit. Don't really want to use too many bullets, if at all possible. Boom. There we go. Okay, taking it out. Phew. That was, uh, that was much harder than I anticipated. But there you go. Kurt's back up and running now. That's great. And let's loot a couple of things here. Because these guys tend to drop rubies and... Precious stones, by the looks of things. Sometimes, not all the time. And I think that could be really useful for crafting. So that's the reason why I wanted to try and attack them. Now, we do have some rebels, I think, in this direction. Oh, I didn't pick that up. Definitely need to pick that up. Just to make sure that we have every single piece of crafting material possible. Okay, so search the area to find the rebels. Well, this is interesting. Ah, they're going to be over here, aren't they? I assume. Oh. oh, and this is another camp. Oh, fantastic. This is great. Okay, so let's set up this camp. That is the last camp that we needed we needed to do for uh, Mr. Corselion's uh, quest. So that's really nice. And I think I might actually be able to upgrade my coat now. So let's see. I think it's a strap. There you go. Flask pouch. Exactly what we need. So as you can see, we needed a ruby. Crude iron ore and some leather, and that gives me plus one science. So let's upgrade this. And we can also upgrade this as well if we want to, but you, you can only have one strap on at any one time. And you can then have shoulders on as well. And these shoulders are really cool. I mean, they just basically give you additional armor, which is quite nice. We might want to do that. That gives me 10 more armor and 2% more balance. Is that actually worth it? I don't know. 
Uh, okay, why not? Let's do it. Give me, give me some additional armor. And what about the chest piece? Uh, it's okay. I, I mean, I do I really want to continue using all of my crude iron ore? Not really. So, I guess we're just going to leave it at that. Can I upgrade either one of these? Not really. Okay, so as you can see down here, the ammo. We can't craft it yet. I need crude iron ore to craft ammo as well, which is kind of insane. So yeah, science level 2 is what I need. So I'm going to need to try and either level up or find some other way to gain science. And I'm not entirely sure if we will be able to do that. Okay, so this is kind of bad. This is really actually kind of bad because now we have these enemies right here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to save real quick because I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. I'm worried that we're going to get murdered. Okay, so that's going to... Oh, these are wolves. Okay, that might actually work out a little bit better for us than bears or whatever those other things were. Okay, come on, Vasco. Can you do something? <laughs> okay, wolves are a little bit easier, I think. Yes, wolves are a little bit easier than the other enemies that we were fighting, thankfully. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, so now this is a dire wolf or something along those lines. Pretty big enemy to deal with, but that's fine. There you go, we were able to do it. And my trap is just here, not doing anything. So let's defuse it. Can I defuse it and pick it up? Yes, I can. Oh, look at that. Well, not... I can't really pick up the trap, but I can pick up the alchemical preparation thing, which uh, I think you can then use to make other traps, which is nice. So let's just loot everything in the area before we interact with the quest. And let's see what happened. My dear, I'm afraid this trip will be my last. We were very cautious. We even ate cold food every night because lighting a fire was too dangerous. And yet I feel as if we are being observed and I am afraid they might attack us from one moment to... He was and he got attacked. Whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. A message for other merchants, no doubt. One must admit, it's an effective deterrent. Oh, you know what I should have done at that camp? I probably should have taken our other companion and put Vasco back. That probably would have made sense. But oh well, never mind. I guess we'll just continue onward anyway. Because he's kind of useful with his gun. His gun kind of does make a bit of sense to have. And I think they're up here. Ah, there we go. They're going to talk to us, and we're going to have to use our intuition and our 10% charisma chance. Yes, because my charisma is awful, isn't it? Okay, so let's head up here. Hopefully they're not going to kill us immediately. Oh, they are actually killing us immediately. Oh, okay. Well, hello there. Alright, so far so good, I gotta say. And there you go, done. Was that it? Oh no, there's one more. Ah, that was just a patrol, according to our wonderful Desade. Hmm, yes, okay. Well, let's just pick up all of what they have. They might have some ammo. I doubt it. I mean, let's face it. They probably don't have ammo. But they will... Ooh, an obsidian hammer. That might actually be really good. But I'm not going to look at it just now. Oh, no. I don't, I don't really hate fighting these flying enemies. i got to say that. That is the one thing that I'm not a big fan of in this game. Flying enemies that spit poison at you. Mm, yeah, not my favorite, thanks. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, they do so much damage as well. So, so much damage. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so let's uh, use a potion. And, oh, you can actually just run away from them? Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. But yeah, we're going to be coming back and murdering them as best I can. Yes, so many fury attacks. That's kind of the reason why I wanted to spec into fury generation so that we can just have fury attack, fury attack, fury attack in amongst very minimal amounts of normal attacks. I think that that personally makes quite a bit of sense. And I know that a lot of people are saying, you know, firearms, very, very powerful. And yeah, they do seem very powerful. But for me at the moment, I just do not have the means to make ammunition, which hopefully I will soon. 
So let's head in here and hopefully find the rebels. Ah, they're a little bit further away. Ah, another patrol potentially, it seems. Wow, we do so much damage. Look at that. We're doing so much damage. Oh yeah, I like... Oh yeah, I like balance. I think balance is really helping me to actually stay on my feet when I get hit. And I'm not entirely sure if that's what it's supposed to do, but uh, I think in general that is what it's supposed to do. Okay, so we did level up. That's fantastic. And we can also change this, which will give me elemental resistance instead of poison. And it also gives me HP healing, which is fantastic. So we're going to be using that. That's really nice. And uh, yeah, we did level up, as I say. So we do have a skill point and a talent point. And we probably want to spec into something. So what are we going to spec into? Well, we have more fury generation, 20% increase from counterattacks. That sounds pretty fun. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Hmm... Uh, do I want to do anything else around, along here? Increases the destruction of armor, of the alchemical preparation of elemental damage. Do I want to do anything here? Shadow burst. Knocks back and deals magic damage. Anything else? Maybe I want to do some more melee damage? Hmm. Because I, I don't really think that 20% from counterattacks is going to do that much in comparison to the 10% from all attacks because counterattacks really don't happen that often. Although against human enemies, they happen much more. Damage with one-handed blades on unarmored enemies increased. That might be pretty fun. So I guess we're going to do something like this. Go for sharp steel. And then we have talents. Okay, so now we can actually take science. Yes, there we go. And now we have science level 2 technically. So once I get to a crafting bench next time around, I should be able to craft some ammunition. And then I should be able to maybe find a merchant that sells some crude iron ore. Or maybe find a place that I can gather it. A little bit easier and then I'll be able to make infinite amounts of ammo which would be absolutely fantastic and here are the rebels here's the camp of the rebel natives let's try talking to them before rushing in they must have good reason to only attack the caravans that supply Hikmet yes l indeed let us try to speak to them first but that is actually going to be the end of this episode I'm going to end this on a bit of a cliffhanger here I apologize but anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.